What's up everybody, this is Dustin from Strange and Departed, and today I have my mom here. Hey, hi everyone. We are gonna be making these awesome ropes, which are so much fun, they're guts, they're gory, she loves to make them. We yes. sell them on our website at dearlydeparted.rip. However, today we're gonna to show you exactly how to make them. So if you wanna make them your own, that's rad. Mm -hmm. They're so much fun. They really are, and not just being fun making, um, putting them in your haunted house, you're not just going to want one, you're going to want a lot because we use them everywhere. Oh yeah, everywhere. Like we, she'll, she'll, she'll literally take these and be like, it, she'll see somebody with like chains and she'll be like, oh no, let's put one of these there. And it just makes that, that gore effect. Like yeah. She loves that stuff yeah. and it's cool. Yeah, and people are creeped out about it. They're like, ew, you know, because look at them. They're like wet looking uh, and you know. You can add hair. My mom adds oh my like gosh. so much random shit to what, it. Yeah, <laughs> She'll put hair you into want. it. She'll put in little like intestine pieces and we're gonna go over all of that right mm -hmm. now. Are yeah, you ready? Fun. All right, let's so start first it off. off, you know, a beer. Always. Always a beer. You got the dryer because you're gonna wanna dry in between coats mm -hmm. and then you've got the great stuff. Now, we love the gun. The gun, you have more control of how skinny and fat you want to make that foam. You can use this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, but that thing, it always clogs up. Right. Just buy the gun. And then, Home Depot sells it for, what, 40 bucks, 30 right. bucks. Right. We recommend you buy the gun. So then you got your different kinds of ropes, and you've got your... It's called um, breaker rod. You know, any kind of foam, any kind of textures that you want to use, um, you know, that's cool. Like the toilet paper. Um, you just, you know, and like Dustin had said earlier, I like to put hair into it. You can put cotton balls. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. You know, be creative. Of course, we got the cups. Now it's by the latex because the latex you do not want to contaminate it. You're going to want to put, stir it real good, you know, and then put it into your cup. And then, you know, your chip brushes because they're inexpensive. Which we're, yeah, and we're going to be making some nernies and mm -hmm, things like that. Mm -hmm. The second you start wiping latex on a dirty surface, which we will be. Yeah. You do not want to re-dip into your latex. So it's always smart to yeah. like... Never contaminate your jars. Never contaminate whatever. Anything. Like when we do permablood, which we're about to get to, right, Mom? Right. Like you pour it into a separate container. Exactly. You do not want to double dip like you don't want to double dip your own foods, right? Um, so then we got the permablood. Um, By we, Pale Night Productions, who is Pale one of Night. our favorite mm -hmm. companies in mm -hmm. the whole world. Whole world. <laughs> they, they, different they, colors. They yeah, make so many different colors. So the, the color that we love for this is it's permagrime yellow. Yep. This one. Yep. And it's awesome. Like Pale, Pale Night makes these like fantastic colors. Yellow for this like brings out that ooey gooey like blistery mm -hmm. look that like. Which you'll see on the. Um, <laughs> There's like different stuff that we're making, yeah. Right. And so like we also have permagore and that by is them too. Fun. Super fun. And we go, it these really are all like our alive. like sample size so that we can yeah. actually make stuff look cool. But we use this stuff by they they sell them way bigger than this, but like this is highly recommended to go check them out if you've never seen Pale Night stuff. They're awesome. Give them some love. And then we're gonna do the Copic ink. Copic inks, yeah. So we have and, an alcohol-based ink. Right. So you'll use in a this whole bunch of different colors with the cups. Correct. And we'll show you how much to do. It'll bring out the colors, and then after that is all done, then you're gonna want to varnish it after it's all dry. And Seal this it up. is it. This is the sweetness of the wet look. You know, it is alive. It is alive. You are gonna just be blown away when you make this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this one. It's a little smaller than uh, what we've used, and um, but it's gonna be fun. All these ropes are gonna be fun. So I've got here a loop, and um, this is what we love about the loop is that you can hang it on a hook, hang it up and down. 
you know um chains whatever yeah, like chains, if you want to replace chains put it around your neck um whatever it's just nice to have a loop and you cover this you can make it smaller you know or larger and i know a lot of you already know that this is a strong loop so all you have to do let me show you is you make a loop put this over it the other string pull it hold both ends and pull it through hold on both ends and there you go easy shall i show you again let's do it one more time okay so you make a loop it's under and over and then pull this one up and you're holding both of the ends that meaning this end and this end and then you're pulling this up to make that loop and so okay. the only like you could totally skip this step if you're just gonna make yeah. some guts like yeah we're only gonna show you this because we feel like the hanging guts mom right yeah is like and if you were to order from us we'll always ship with it we will always ship with a loop yeah. Unless you specifically say, I don't want to loop. But you can cut it. Yeah, right. So um, we're going to make this like, I think this table is not quite six foot. So we're going to go here to here. And then we're going to make from here another loop. Under and over and pull it through. Holding both ends and push it up. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the size that we want. You can make your loop any size. And then we're gonna cut it and we're gonna get busy. Okay, so now that we have the loop, now we're gonna go ahead and put texture on it. So I wanna start with toilet paper. And, and you then, can bulk it up with anything, right? Right, I mean, there's- Whatever is the cheapest thing that you can find. Yep, you wanna just go ahead and if there's areas that you wanna make it look like it's been a blockage you know put a lot over there in it and uh, doesn't have to be perfect no it doesn't need to be perfect all you're doing is basically taking your rope and making it not look so like but, a rope even <laughs> you don't want it to look like a rope yeah but you're going to kind of twist it and the latex is going to hold it and so I'm gonna go right there. And then I'm gonna take some of this um, breaker rod. And you know, I take off more than what I need because you can always go back and um, clip it off and um, you can twist it. And I just take a knot and I knot it up and just like that. Easy. You know, and then I Add start more again. toilet paper if you want. Yeah, do another toilet paper. You can put the um, toilet paper over the other, but it seems like it always is better if you just take a little bit of the toilet paper and then just kind of, you know, say, gosh, I want that to be really cool right there, you know, and that's where you go. And you can leave that and right there. And then, you know, maybe, no, I don't want to do that much um, of the knot. I want to do more toilet paper in between. I want it a little bit thinner. Um, so you would just wind it up. And then you can always change your mind because it's your creation. Why, why not? You know, it's your creation. And you're like, yeah. And I, I like squeezing it because it kind of like, and then you can also push it up, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. If you want it to be a little bit, and you don't want concise to see, consistency. <laughs> yeah, consistency, yeah, um, I agree with you. Like, cause you, you definitely do not want it to you look. You want it to be you organic. You want it to be organic at the end of the day. Yeah. The second that it looks so perfect, Yeah, that's it's horrible. not right. It just does not look good, so. You know, um, you can just 
keep on going. So we're, so like we're gonna this. we're gonna start working on this thing, and we're gonna cut to the next scene, right, Mom? Yeah. You know, just keep on going. Do your breaker rod, and just mingle it in. Okay, so we now have all the toilet paper wrapped around and the breaker rod, and we're gonna go ahead and put on a layer of the latex. And I like wearing one glove. You can wear two, it's not gonna hurt you. Um, and squish it in, you know, this is uh, really fun, squishy, you know, stuff. And um, just get it in there. You just put it everywhere, one yep. single layer right now, just basically you're just building up the skin for the toilet paper, right? Yep, and then after we get this all done, we'll let it dry, put the hair dryer on if you'd like to get things going faster, and um, then we'll do the great stuff, which is cool. Gives it another layer of funness. <clears throat> you don't have to get like all crazy that you didn't get somewhere um, because you're gonna go wow that looked cool that I didn't do that spot or you're gonna put more goop which is the latex on it all right see like right there I don't have anything on it but watch what happens right there it is easy easy Feels good, smells good. I like this stuff. I hate the smell of latex. <laughs> oh yeah? No, that's, yeah, it's just a glove. It's the ammonia, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right, so we'll just keep on rolling down this whole thing. Yeah, won't take very long. Okay, so while this dries, now we're gonna take the latex that's been left over and we're gonna make nernies. Now, nernies is, like a um, piece of skin and uh, you'll put these on the ropes and you just go one way and you'll want a um, smooth surface even like a whiteboard and go one way and then go the other way right and so you definitely don't want to do this on what on paper or anything yeah like that. it won't on a work piece of plywood, it's going to stick to it this table is slick and you're going to want to add different layers. Like you can see, like we have some of these that are, you know, they're already a got few, some a few mm -hmm. thicknesses, vary the consistencies. And I tried something new and I don't, I've never done this, but, um, I put a layer here and I put a piece of toilet paper on it and I thought, well, I just want to see, you know, so be creative and, you know, um, use the droppings off of like your brush, you know, you're going to want to keep that. You can add that onto the rope, you know, and when you rub your hands together after you're all done, you'll end up with this stuff and you're going to want to add this onto your rope and it'll give it another texture which is the gutty more, looking. The more textures, the better. Exactly. So we'll do this. We'll go on and finish this up. And then now we'll have that dry and we'll start the great stuff. Okay, we are ready for the great stuff. And the gun. We love this gun. And you're going to want to make sure you have gloves on and ventilation you know we've got mega ventilation where we're at so um let's get it hardened <clears throat> if you leave it don't pressure it a whole lot and just go around and you know what we do do what we like to do is have them hanging up and um, this way you can get both sides and you've got a um, adjuster. If you want it thick or thin, then you would just go ahead and adjust that. We like the thinness and we're doing it hanging down, hanging down. And um, 
then we'll go ahead and let it dry. And if there's some places where, like here, you're not happy with it or you just want another big old glob, just hold it down and roll with it. It's just fun. When it gets to being a little bit uh, dry, we'll take our hands and we'll um, squish it a little bit because it makes it more organic. A little bit thinner. This gives it just so much more texture. Now see in this hole here, which I don't want a hole. So I'll just add a little bit more. And you can just, you know, look like it's full of... Oh, veiny type things. They're so cool. I know. And then we'll just get to the end and let this dry and start over again. But if you have somewhere that you can do it from hanging up, it goes a lot faster. Okay, so we've got it where we're wanting to show you how we do it hanging down. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. You can go back up. Just go where you've missed places. This way you can turn it around. It's pretty cool. And stop, you know, when you need to get down the ladder a little bit. And go again. So try not to make it like in a complete straight line. Go around, add veins, adjust the, like how thick it is, right? Yeah. Some areas that are really thick part so that you can like tap it in like you were talking about. Yeah. Makes it more organic as we keep using that word. Going down the ladder. See, we're almost done. And here's that hole thing that right there, see that? That I used on the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stick, cause we're gonna put some latex on this afterwards. And see that rope that it's showing through? This is where you can go ahead and fill in what you need to do. You can always go back as many times as you want. Okay, we're like uh, 20 minutes in. You know, wherever you are um, in the heat that you're going to be drying these at is going to be different. You know, it could be 10 minutes. So you just want to make sure. But what you're looking for is to be able to squish this, not in every spot, but you're gonna want it to look meaty looking, you know? Um, you still want those vein, the like pop, the areas yeah. that are popping out. Show me an area, Mom. Yeah, so like right in here, squish it in, but leave the veins, you know, some of that veiny look. And squish on down. Leave some of that cool texture. And there you, you go. You don't want it to look like great stuff at the end of the day. <laughs> right. And this is why this stuff is so important. And they, you just want to like make sure that it's all squished in there. Okay, so now that this is all dry and it's not sticky anywhere, and you've pushed it in, made it look <clears throat> more meaty, we're going to go ahead and put some latex on this and then the nurneys come next. So just go ahead and swab it on. Basically everywhere, right? Yeah, you wanna get it up into it, like the holes. You know, I'm gonna 
turn it and show you what I mean by that. Like right in here. You know, get it everywhere. And um, glob it on. It doesn't have to be like dry. It needs to be really wet. Because you're going to go ahead and put the copy ink on it. And um, that's what's going to make it more alive, right? Just that much better. Yeah. So, and then if you didn't happen to get it in a certain place, you can go back in with your latex and right. It's only like it. a one one stop, right? Right, because again, you're going to go ahead and put those nernies in it, and. That's what I love about being able to just paint it in. You know, you don't have to slop it. Just dab it. Go, wow, this is going to be so cool when I get it done. I'm so excited about this Yeah, one. I think they're all fun. You know, we've made so many of them before, and um, I can't well, you, you say can see which the one I you like. Can see the, yeah. Yeah, you can see right? the detail right now. Like, I'm gonna it's turn already it. starting to come through. Right. Yeah. See how watch this how it changes. Look at that. Just looks like part of the bone, or if it was a bone. Yeah. All right, mom. So we got these done, basically, right? Like yep. everything is looking like it's drying up. And we're, we got them horizontal now for the next step, right? Right. And you're gonna want to make sure that they're dry. And like I see a place here, see there? Oh uh, yeah. It is not dry. And but you, you could just hit it with the, you know, blow dryer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let Get it the blow cure dryer. a little bit more the latex. But if you do see anything that's like toilet paper sticking out or right? your great stuff, you wanna like make sure you're covering this, make it a good skin. Yeah, doesn't right. this look beautiful? So oh, I can't wait for the next step. We're yeah. gonna be doing what, Copic inks right now? Yes. So we're at my favorite step, which is mm -hmm. painting. Mine too. So we're going to be creating a wash, right? Yep. And so what's our first color in the wash? Burnt Sienna. Burnt Sienna E09. And we're going to start with also um, the Burnt Umber. Burnt Umber E29 by Copic Inks. And then we're going to do the black. Super simple mixture for the base coat wash. Mm-hmm. Right? And then we're all going to dump in. Some 99% isopropyl alcohol into one of these cups. And so what's our what's our mixture? We're going to do like, um, I don't know, it's quarter like what, of a cup. Yeah, like six ounces. And then we'll take the Sienna. And mm -hmm. you're going to want to shake these up, you know. And we're going to do 10 drops of this. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't have ten. to be perfect because most likely you're never going to get it right. Like I'm sure, mom, right? You're going to be adding some more in there. Right. To make sure that, you know, you don't want it to, you don't want this rope to be super opaque. You definitely could be using Copic inks mm -hmm. um, without, a, without the isopropyl alcohol, but then it would just look gross you want it you want to build up these colors right right so what color is this this one would be the burnt umber okay and we're going to do the same amount one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten whatever okay might have been an extra drop but Doesn't you know matter. it's not cooking this is whatever you like these are our favorite colors to create the base and then this is the black Okay, how many on this? One, two. <laughs> Just a little to darken Just it up. Just a little right? bit, right? And then we're going to swirl it around. Now these pans are going to capture what comes off of the rope so that we can reuse it. Right, we, you don't want to waste whatever's mm -hmm. dropping off of it because it is a wash. It is mm -hmm. the viscosity on here. So see Look that? At that? Yeah, show, show that. Swish it around. You can see Isn't it. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's a good color. Mm hmm All right. Let's get those ropes up So you here. can take your brush. You can dip it in. Mm hmm um, You can just see it. Like, it's, it is not opaque at all. It's a wash. Mm hmm 
Mm. And swish it around. And we'll show you what it's going to do now. Awesome. There it goes. The more you put on it, the stronger <clears throat> that it looks. You know, you'll put a couple of coats or... As you can see already, like, look how good that looks. Yeah. It's so meaty and awesome. And it'll dry really quick, right? Right. That's why we use 99% isopropyl alcohol because it evaporates super fast when you, you have a an alcohol-based ink that's very similar to Copic ink. You don't have to use that, but just any alcohol-based ink. And it just it gets in those, like, crevices and the isopropyl alcohol. And if you go over it, that's cool. It's just going to give it some more love. Yeah. More love, more density in the colors. Mm -hmm. And you can see that, like, that, like the breaker. What is that, the breaker rod? Yep. Uh, it's so yep, good. Right and it starts to come out green. Mm. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's more organic, too. So real looking. So good. I'm just... Put the funness on there. Right. So I like that. So we'll get all these done. And yeah, so you just keep on going down. This is a base wash. So you goes don't need really to really quick. Really quick. And then everything that's dripping, which is not much right now, goes in. When we have like, how many of these do we mom? We, we'll yeah. do like 10, 20 of these at a time. And they're and dripping then, onto the other ones. Yeah, and so you want to like conserve as much <clears> of your wash as possible. Mm hmm. And it's fun to just uh, twist it it's like it's so on a rotisserie, good. right? Yeah. Looks like some <laughs> basting your gore. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Not pretty. See how quickly that goes? All right, look at this. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like all the alcohol is starting to evaporate. It, it does in what, like five minutes? Like, mm -hmm. they're dry. Here's the second one that we're working on. They look really wet right it's now. So good. So I would say. You could probably end here. Mm-hmm. You You'd, could. You could add some blood and stuff like that, but we definitely wanted to, like, talk about, like, what's next and, like, how you can add, like, contacts in it. We did talk about Nerny, so let's do this. How do we make Nernies, Mom? We're going to add some contact cement to some areas where you, you're not happy with. And yeah, you um, pick up contact cement at Home Depot. Yeah. Or, like, there's nothing crazy. Like, it doesn't matter about the company. Like, we just throw it in a jar after. Mm -hmm. But, like, any contact cement works. Something that's sticky. Contact cement is one of the worst things ever. We and have we have a huge fan in the back of us mm -hmm. um, that's creating great ventilation for yes. us. And your health is important. So where do you want to add some contact cement? Right down here. Um, cause it's kind of thin right here. And I'm going to um, add some of the contact cement. And then I'm going to show you after the contact cement is added that, and just, you know, it's the glue um, to hold the nernies on. So we're going to go ahead and lift one of these guys up and you're going to roll it just a little bit on the edge and then the other edge. And you're going to put your fingers underneath of it and hold on to it and place it on. It's really easy. And nothing can go wrong. You know, it's... And if it does go wrong, we have a jar next to us that basically... See there? Put, that's so good. So I th this, this technique was invented by Dick Smith, I believe. Yeah. And so... See there? And, but you, when you get to the end, you're going to want to capture it. If you don't, you know, it's cool. 
It's mm. just more of a skin look, and you're gonna place that baby on there and make it look real. Make it look like- It's, it's guts on a rope. It's, yeah. <laughs> And then maybe just do a little squishy there. It doesn't there. have to be perfect. Yeah. And you can... It breaks up the great stuff looks so much. Pull it more. Much. And if you feel like you didn't get any glue, the contact cement, just place them on there. It's no big deal. And then add it again. Over there you can stretch it. You can put holes in it. I like that. Right, yeah, Dustin? Yeah, I love that look. You know, it just makes it more real looking and, and just breaks after you get it breaks up. Breaks up everything. If you, after you get it up in there, you can uh -huh. <laughs> do it again. After you get it up. Mom, come on. <laughs> All right. So let's do another one. All right. So I think... Um, is there any other places that we should be adding these? You know, I like just kind of like variety. And so, you know, you don't want it consistent. And so then you take your Nerny again. And even though we had <clears throat> um, dripped on these here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you're going to go over this. Again with more paint. Yeah. And just, you know stretch it and wrap it and there's that hole there I love those Me holes too, you can make your own holes but if they go ahead and do it themselves you're like yeah I just squeeze it in so, so we're gonna yeah. go ahead and put more on yeah let's right? put some more on yep it's looking so good I love it so now that we're done with putting the nurnies on that we've wanted to put them in, um, I just wanted you to know that you're going to have nurnies that when you lift them up and you stretch it, it just didn't go right. So keep them, put them aside. But, you know, what you're going to do with them later is just put them into your initial wash. And if you don't, if you don't have the initial wash, mix them up. Yeah. We you, let them soak in there for sometimes for a while, right? Yeah. And, and they're uh, the coolest things when they come out. We've used them on like um, different, like we do art pieces too. So yeah. We've used them picture on, frames or. Right. They're so cool. Just anything you can think of. Oh, I bought those. And, yeah, and if you're like, I feel like this looks perfect and you mm -hmm. mix, you, you layered in some more nernies, rip them off. Make them mm -hmm. into little tiny pieces, throw them in a jar. They last for a long time. They're latex. Yeah, so. don't get rid of them. Yeah, they're so cool. Pull that one out, Mom. Okay. Over there. You can already see, like, it's, it's looking so good. And when it dries, it's even better. Right. We have placed the nurnies where we want them to go. And after this point, you're going to go ahead and latex them again. Because um, it creates a good, it's like a seamless transition. Yeah. You don't want it to look like they were just placed some random shit on there. Like and they look skin-like, yeah. you know? Yeah. You could stop at the point where we told you, but we love detail. So we did the nurnies. And we're gonna go ahead and put the latex over them. Go over, go over your other areas that you're, you know, go outside the region of the nerdy, right? Well, mm hmm. And that's what we're doing. We're just gonna put some of this which on. Which also it. really helps. Like, even though we use contact cement, adding a little extra latex is gonna help that shit stick on there better. And look at how this kind of, that nerdy just kind of lifted up. That is cool. And on this one here, you know, you wouldn't have had that unless you had a nerny. You know, this up mm -hmm. in here. Just Rotate make sure you bit. get that latex right. up in there. And then I've got another one over here. Did the same thing, I think, on all of them. 
and this looks like ripped skin. You name it right now. Like pull pull a little hole in like you were doing earlier. Sure. Like if you look at it and you're like, that might be I red. Want more. Yeah, like because sometimes that like just rip it. Test look. Yeah, like that. Where the skin is decaying. And just go ahead and goop it up some more with that latex. Yeah, gives it a more texture look. Natural. And, yeah, natural. If it is natural, I don't know if this is actually natural, but it looks cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want it to be like, oh, damn, they didn't just take some plastic gloves, you know? Mm -hmm. So look at this guy up here. I like that guy hanging out there, you know? And even that this, I'm going to show it to you, this kind of flips up. You know, when you put the latex on it, it makes it all come together. Mm -hmm. Right? Which you'll see as it dries. Yeah. It makes it un the uniformity between the two. Yeah, so just make sure that you get enough latex on your nurnies and then we'll go with the next step. Okay, so this is where we're at now. We placed all the nurnies and we're going to go ahead and use the Copa ink. And the, same, the same batch as you had before. Yeah. If you need to, you can mix another one. And go on over the nurney and all the way down. Get them all. Just like that. We have done like mixed it up a little bit with like some blues and stuff like that, but we'll be oh. airbrushing these and mm -hmm. you can play around, play around with your colors. Now I'm going to put on some <clears throat> nurnies and, um, you know, just dab a little spot right there where you want, does it have to be like feeling like, where did I put that? Right. <laughs> It'll go. And leave up some little guys hanging up like that. And I have one over These here. are all the nurnies that were scrap pieces. Yeah, those ones that I told you <clears throat> to go ahead and make sure that you save and wipe your hands with them. There's another one hanging on over here. Oh, nope, that was something no, natural. That's natural. I love natural. I'm going to put one in here, right? And then just go ahead and, you know, put a bunch somewhere else. Just being fun, right? Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> yep. I like it. And they've already been, um, what, stained, Dustin? Oh, yeah, 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 stained. Or no. Grab a big one so you can wrap it around. Yeah. Show them what that looks like. Yeah. Basically, you're looking for spots that, like, that you can break up. Again, make it not look like a mold. Making it look just that much better with details and different gut pieces coming off. Three dimension kind of thing, too. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't glue that right there. Hey, got a beer? It'll help. <laughs> <laughs> there, see? Thought of my beer. Oh, it's looking so good. Look at all those little mm -hmm. tiny little mm -hmm. pieces of nerdy love. We're going to um, start airbrushing, right? Yep. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> Put them wherever you want them, right? <laughs> Just having some fun. I love it. It made me think I was going to have a bite. Mm. So what we're going to do is more detail. And, um, you know, we have uh, Eclipse Airbrush right uh, now. It's by Iwata. And we yep. have in Iwata, <clears throat> what is this? Power Jet Pro. It's got, you can like hook up two different, uh, two different airbrushes to it. 
And I'm going to turn this actually on right now. So much quieter than most. Oh, it's so quiet. I love yeah. it. Um, so, yeah, so let's do this. So, like, uh, we're gonna Same add alcohol. Some. Yeah. We're going to pour it in about halfway in the cup. Well, you know, I went over a little bit, but that's okay. And we're going to make a blue and a purple. Blue and a black blue to make black purple. Blue and black to make purple. And it'll be bruising. It'll look more veiny looking. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, I do a few drops. You're going to want to have a paper over on the side to make sure that uh, you got the right consistency. Mm -hmm. And um, say, oh yeah, God, that looks great. Um, or no, I need to add some more alcohol. Um, you don't want much black. Like one drop. One or two drops. Yeah. I'm going to go with one because it the went thing, in the one. The thing that's crazy about like, because like blue and the black, like especially <clears throat> on the black and the Copic inks, it definitely is on the purple side. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So yeah. So you got that. So now what, well, now what do we do? As you see, my finger is black, but I'm going to go ahead and hold the tip, push down, and pull back. That mixes it up. See, so yeah, I... See, mixes yeah. it all up. No, the mix in another container. You just so now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try if that's the color. Yeah, come on uh, on this side. Okay. You can. All right. And can. what do we, we have? The psi right now. That's about twenty psi. I'd say that was a good. Mm-hmm. So. You know, kind of look for your veins or somewhere where you're gonna want to. Give it some shadow or some There's certain effects. Look. If you go in closer, it's much better looking. I think that looks good. And you can always go back over it. You're going to do some other things. Do some over Take here. your time. Yeah. Doesn't have to be quick. Again, adding the alcohol, like basically what you're doing is you're not making it super opaque. Again, you can take it and add a ton of just straight alcohol into your airbrush, but it's just going to be these weird S lines. So <laughs> it never works out right, right, Mom? Right. And if you get too much of it, just stop, grab the alcohol, and rub it, you know, if you don't like it. Because we have not sealed it yet, so. But be careful, don't rub too hard. Mm-hmm. Just go on down, we'll probably do another couple colors. All right, the detail looks so good from the airbrushing. They really do. I love it, look at that thing. Mm -hmm. just, they got these like blues, these greens, they're, Starting to come together. I love it. So now what we're going to do is do some permanent blood, right? And you're going to dry brush? Is that the... Yes, I am. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to use this. Always make sure you shake it up. And um, we're going to put some in the brush. Permanent blood by Pale Night Productions. Or you can go ahead and use this little guy here. Um, it was that uh, you can buy these things at like Dick Blick, yeah, any Hobby Lobby, wherever. Um, so, oh my gosh, this is kind of like tight, but it's all good. There's a little bit, not a ton. Excuse me. And here we go with the dry brushing. Just add just walk a little me through, bit. Yeah, walk me through just dry brushing. Add a little bit to your brush, and. Try to take as much off as you can and take it to the br uh, paper that you're going to use and just lightly go through it and then go with it here and there. Do you see how that works? You don't want to overdo it, you know. Um, we'll go back and it's more put like some a medium, more of the... medium dry brushing. Yeah, and look at there. I mean, somehow... That. We did not get that in that area. So I'm going to wiggle it on in there. 
now may go back and uh I need a little bit more because i can still see it okay get it up in there hmm. yeah looks like a little flap of skin yeah and just give it more like a highlight yeah, um, you don't want to push too hard mm -mm. and this stuff like shows itself more when it dries right yeah, dustin big time so I always like hitting like because you did that with that little skin flap there. Mm -hmm. but, um, no, this way. Like hitting those like little nernies a little bit more in those places definitely shows up better. But I like that they kind of look burnt and like they've been dried up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yet we we like it where it's going to show that meaty look. It's more real ripped out of something mm -hmm. definitely you know don't put too much on you'll be surprised how you can put way too much on and go well gosh all that work that i did with my paintbrush or my, i mean my airbrush is not showing up now so barely put it in <clears throat> right so right. we'll roll over here and then go with the next one. Okay, see where this skin area is? I'm gonna hit it lightly with the permablood. Again, contrast, right? Like, just, you don't wanna hit the other pieces, just go on that little tiny little nerny. Look, look for like some the others. Skin was ripped off. Like right in here. Lightly. Lightly go with it. So tight. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Right? <laughs> Lightly. Roll it around. Check it out. See what else looks where you need to get Roll it. Roll it over again. You can see a little piece right, right there. You can hang In it. here? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, yeah, right there. Get that. Uh, so good. You can over bloody stuff. And when you <laughs> and it's so easy to do. Like I have literally been like, keep bloodying it up, keep bloodying it up. But like, and then the whole thing's yeah, red. And then why the hell did you even airbrush shit? Right. So I want to do this one right here. See here? Just a little bit. Yeah, if you see any so like it latex like... and stuff like that, like some areas that did the Copic didn't really like attach to and just go down the line, add some stuff, look underneath it. Like Dustin says, just don't do a bunch of it right here. I don't so know where that easy. came from, but just rub it in. You know, on the globe. Oh, look at that, how that came out. See? Beautiful. Make it work with your gloves, too. All right, so we have some wet permagram yellow grime paint. It's basically the same thing, same recipe, I would say. Don't quote me on that as permablood, but uh, it's a different color and they're so good. It's so, like they have like the same stylistic properties. The reason like why we use permagram yellow is to create some like blistery, oozy. Pussy. Gross, pus yeah, big time on the pus side. We definitely use it for pus <laughs> all the time. And so you, you, you don't want to overdo it again. But you're going to find some areas that have, like, a little latex, like, whites and stuff like that. You can add a little bit more detail if you want. And um, start with just a little. Not gob it on your right. brush. You don't have to dry brush. You could, but, you know, you don't yeah. need to. So you can already see some of this Look, looks like it's already pussing through. Yeah, like the little just, white from the latex. add it in there right. some more Put the more yellow heat. with the white oh it's so good it makes it look like blistery like it's oozing out a little bit 
Yeah, don't use Look at that thing. <clears throat> it's so pussy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I freaking love it. Yeah, Do and, not, and you don't want to paint brush it on. You kind of want to just like, yep. Yep. And there's another one right in there that you want to go with. So, super fresh. This is fun doing this hair. I'll make this a little bit more defiant. Just here and there. So everything is dried up and it's looking fantastic. Wow, spectacular work. Just look at that bloody skin piece hanging there. So you gotta seal it up, right? That's like the key or else, basically, the sun will damage it. The Copic inks will start to, I don't know, evaporate or they just, they start to get dull. So you wanna seal it up, mm -hmm. right? And so what do we, what do, we do to, Seal the sucker up. We've got this by Liquitex, and it's a high gloss uh, varnish. And Actually, that one is just a gloss varnish. Oh, this one's the gloss. You, yeah. They do they, have. They high. do have high gloss. I feel like for these ropes, though, the reason why we chose to go with the gloss varnish is because the high gloss it says do not bend it, and so mm. sometimes we will use high gloss, but mm -hmm. if you bend high gloss it kind of mm -hmm. can start to crack mm -hmm. this gloss varnish right by liquitex is awesome for its bendability <laughs> yep so, and what we want to use it for it yeah. looks wet it um, yeah, you, does and you can, not and yellow we, you can use this right so mm -hmm. we have the liquitex medium um it's a matte medium and we use this all the time for like if, if you're going to take like a corpse or something like that. That would be this one, yeah, the matte one. Yeah, the matte. Um, like something right out of the ground. Yeah, like where you don't want it shiny. We want these things shiny. Like I, I love this look and you're gonna be like, I love this too. Uh, and you want it to keep that like shiny, fresh look. That's where this Liquitex uh, gloss varnish comes into play. And so you just dump a little bit out, right? Yep, and you're not gonna wanna have bubbles there is a little bit of bubbling but you don't want to keep a going thin coat, right? yeah you don't want to continue to go over it because then it'll start bubbling up so how many coats do we do of this we only do one coat um but you can do more than one coat you can I do like the instructions when they say like do two coats mm-hmm these work down and your line as you can see right here in between coats. Yeah. Just make sure you're paying attention to where you're putting it at and wait two to three hours and you're gonna keep this gloss finished for a long, Get it in long that time. Crevices and yeah. Don't overwork it, don't overpaint it. Read the instruction label. It basically says what we just said. Mm-hmm. The nice thing about this too, say that I missed a spot, you can go back over it, you know, after three hours. Um, we've never done the hair drying. I would imagine you could do that. Um, you know, let yeah. us know your yeah. comments on that. If you did try it, we'd like to know. Uh, seems like. We just let it chill out. Yeah. Three hours. Yeah. At the end of the day, you gloss these th suckers up. Let them you come back the next morning, and you're like, done, let's ship them out. That's it. But you know what, Dustin? I really don't want to do, I don't want to do these one shipped out. You don't want to ship these out? <laughs> Why no, is that? No, because look at them. Yeah, this... These ones she are... always She always says that. She's like, oh, I want, I want these for ones. our haunted house. <laughs> and I'm like, mom, you got to ship them out. But then sometimes I do agree with her. I'm like, oh, yeah, you. We man. do need him there. This one, look at that. Ah, it's so gross and awesome. Beautiful work, Mom. You're spectacular, everything you do. You're spectacular. Thank you, everyone, for watching our video and let us know what you have done. And yes, and make sure you guys share it. Like, 
I'm so nice. And tried something new. Yeah, if you try something new, definitely leave comments below. Mm -hmm. Show some pictures to us. Check out our podcast, Strange and Departed, where we talk about everything haunted house related. It's fun times. Check We'd out our sure website. like you to come to our haunted house. Check out our website at um, dearlydeparted.rip, where you can buy these mm -hmm. freaking cool things that my mom makes all the time. 